with all these people clowning around, how long do you think it's going to be before someone actually gets seriously hurt? I know you've all heard about all these clown sightings that are going around and quite frankly it's starting to get a little disturbing. You got these clowns, first it started in 2014, it was just people walking around aimlessly just trying to scare people. But now you got all these clowns walking around with weapons like machetes and baseball bats, clubs, even some with guns. Walking around chasing people's cars, chasing people out of the woods and everything else. And it is getting really, really ridiculous. How soon do you think it's going to be before one of these guys actually gets shot? There was a report out of Indiana a few weeks ago where somebody shot a clown in the head. Now, that was found to be a fake story, but nonetheless, these clowns, they don't realize that people are not screwing around. You really think it's a good idea with Halloween especially coming so fast that you're going to jump out of a dark spot and scare somebody with a weapon? Joking or not, it is a stupid move. And if I take my daughter trick-or-treating and somebody starts chasing me in a clown suit with a weapon, it's not going to end well for them. If I feel like my life is threatened, I don't know that you're joking called self-defense and anybody that feels like their life is threatened by a clown chasing them with a weapon somebody's gonna get shot there's already people that host groups of other people called clown hunting parties where they go around and chase clowns that they see on the road they beat the hell out of them forgive me for saying but I think it's for good reason because these clowns are idiots anyone who thinks it's a good idea to go around and chase people with weapons in a clown suit? Sorry, you're fucking stupid. It's pretty bad that even Stephen King himself had to come out and say that it has nothing to do with promotion for his new movie, or remake of his movie It. It started with uh, the Wasco Clown, if you remember that. I forget where that's at exactly. But a town called Wasco had one clown who was seen multiple times just walking around. Granted, he didn't hurt nobody. It was just creepy nonetheless. Then it went away, and now it's back. A little advice, since Halloween is fastly approaching. If you decide to dress up as a clown, you better expect what may be coming your way if you decide to stand in a creepy spot, especially holding a weapon. If I take my daughter out on Halloween night, and I see a clown running after us, especially with a weapon in his hand, you're not going to have a good night. So before you decide to dress up as a clown, you might want to rethink your actions. Because it's not the smartest thing to do right now. Even McDonald's has said that Ronald McDonald is going to take some time off from visiting the charities and whatnot that he does because of all this. Because obviously they fear for Ronald, Mc Ronald McDonald's safety. Dressing up as a clown nowadays is not smart. To all you idiots who think dressing up as a clown and scaring people is a good idea, what were you thinking?